So we're going to make another simply slabulous bowl. This is the bowl that we are going to be working on. Okay, it kind of looks like an avocado or maybe onion skins rolled up. So I start out with my basic squared off slab. I made it nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Then I've marked it going diagonally out to the corners and then straight. So these are two inch marks and these here are four inch marks. So now I'm just going to go ahead and carefully cut through. Okay. Now when you do it, you don't want to drag it unless you've got a really sharp tool. I'm just going very carefully down because I can always clean up the edges afterwards. Okay, But you don't want to drag it because you don't want it, the clay to become misshapen. Now this is a really easy project. I did roll this through the slab roller with a double thickness of canvas only because I didn't want the clay to be so super thick that it became difficult to work with. And if you get off a little bit on the cuts, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, But you do want to remember work from the inside going out. It will just make it a lot easier for you because that way if you do accidentally make it pull out, you can always trim away that extra. And I'm using low fire clay. Our school district gets it from uh, a local vendor. It's high water clay. So I fire this at cone 04 and then typically, <coughs> excuse me, typically I will use the Mako Stroke and Coat for finishing and we fire that at cone 06. So always make sure no matter what kind of clay body you're using, make sure that it is compatible with the glaze you're using. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to be crossing my corner pieces. So I want to score and slip. Now this clay is a fairly moist clay and I'm going to do the scoring so that these corners are going to come up and match together. Okay? And okay, so now I'm going to dab my water on. If this clay was a little older, I would probably use traditional slip. I like to make my own slip. Um, because that way I can guarantee it's going to match up with the clay that I'm actually using. Okay, so now I'm folding it up. Now if I scored too far up, and I did in there, which is okay, I'm going to just smooth that edge out. Okay, and so I'm going to crisscross it, and I'm pressing it together. Try to do it without crushing the other piece. Okay. And since I know I'm going to have to fix that there, I just smooth that a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this side up and I want to crisscross. Okay, and smooth any edges that look misshapen and gently press in that corner because I want to make sure those are going to stick together. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Except this time I'm going to pay a little more attention to what I'm doing. And this piece is going to go to the inside. So I want to score and slip here. Leave that little piece open. Dab some water on. And then I'm going to lift this one up. Crisscross the two pieces. Press them together. Okay. And then do the same over here on this side. Now, if you don't like the texture that you get on your clay from your slab roller, um, 
that's okay you can always smooth it out now we have an actual slab roller which was really nice boost when our school was rebuilt and we moved in um, before that I had a hand slab roller that was portable and it was tricky to use because it was not very big this one's a nice big roller one if you don't have a slab roller though you can use um, like a piece of canvas and a rolling pin now I want to get the sides pulled up <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now score along each of these sides here okay so I'm scoring on the same side for each one of these because I'm just going to bring it around and then I'm going to dab some more water on this is a really quick project now if you want you can add details before you assemble the pot or you can always wait till it's just just before leather hard and if you do that then you can add in some extra designs you can do some additive or subtractive techniques remember additive is when we are adding pieces onto our clay body and that is very crucial to make sure that if you're doing additive that you are using the score and slip method or if you want to do subtractive you can also do it with all kinds of tools I'm literally using a just a wooden skewer that you find at the Dollar Tree or Winn-Dixie now if you want you can at this point bend and kind of curl these in and it gives you that kind of bowl shape that we had in our sample and so that is how we assemble our slabulous pot and I'm going to carefully pick it up okay so you can see it from the angles okay and so that's what you do now if you need to you can just use your fingers to close up any little spots and there you have it I hope you enjoy <laughs>